Hello, today we're going to be looking at the Clausius Clapeyron equation. And this short problem says that the Clausius Clapeyron equation is used to approximate vapor pressures at different temperatures. And this is our equation here. And they ask, what would you plot on the x and y axes to get a straight line? What would be the corresponding slope and y intercept? So, first things first, what is this Clausius? Clapeyron equation. Maybe this is the first time you're seeing this, and the first time I saw this, I didn't know what any of these variables are. So let's um, clarify that. So this P star, that is the vapor pressure, and the units are millimeters of mercury. And the T right here is just temperature in Kelvin and this should be a, a, a big clue they told us that this equation is used to correlate vapor pressure at different temperatures so I'm guessing that these are the two unknowns and usually everything else will be constant so that's exactly right this is the latent heat of vaporization all right, and our R is just the constant, 8.3145, and that's going to be in joules per moles Kelvin, and this B is just another constant. So as you can see here, the clausius clapeyron equation, you are changing the vapor pressure and the temperature, and everything else is going to be constant. Okay? So ultimately what we want to do is find out what to plot to get a straight line. And if you watch the other videos on the linear curve fitting of nonlinear data, that is what we looked at that for. All right, so I just rewrote our equation and the linear the linear curve fitting of nonlinear data involves looking at equations in the form y equals mx plus b and for a simple case we just plot y versus x, m would be the slope, b would be the intercept. And if we make a correlation here, we see that we have to plot the natural log of our vapor pressure versus 1 over t. And doing so gives us a slope of the negative latent heat of vaporization over r and an intercept equal to b. Okay, so now let's actually look at the clausius clapeyron equation with some numbers involved. All right, so for this problem, we want to approximate the latent heat of vaporization in the clausius clapeyron equation for n-hexane, and we are given some values. We're given the vapor pressure is 75.75 millimeters of mercury, and the temperature is 283 Kelvin, so this is good. We have both of our correct units, and we have a B constant of... 18.12. So I'll just rewrite the equation. Alright, so all I have to do is simply fill in the values we're given and solve for our unknown. Okay, so solving for our unknown, I get that our latent heat of vaporization is 32,453.9 joules per mole. And this is where the units were really important. So the, the temperature had to be in Kelvin, so that canceled out. And if we write our latent heat of vaporization in kilojoules per mole, mole, that's just 32.45 joules per mole, 
And just for a point of comparison, the actual latent heat of vaporization for N-hexane is 28.85 kilojoules per mole. And that's more of a 10% difference. And the reason for that is your B value, or if you're looking at a certain range, if you have experimental data and you have a certain range of vapor pressures and temperatures, depending on which values you use, that'll give you a different B value for the constant, which will in turn give you a different final answer. Thanks for watching.